Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. If you're new to the channel, well, stick around. Uh, we do some, I think it's exciting, but I've been working on this little uh, Engine War 6cc engine. Uh, we've got a couple other videos out. Uh, I'll put a link to the latest one up there. But right here, the guys, this is a dime. Let me pull you guys in closer. I'll show you what we got here. Okay, so this is a dime, a US 10 cent piece. Underneath it here, there are 40 nuts. Those nuts correspond to, well, here, you guys see this little bitty micrometer? Okay, guys, well, this is 38 thousandths of an inch for this little screw and these little nuts. I guess the reason why I'm telling you that is, well, remember our, let me pull you guys back up. So after we got all this done, I told you guys we were going to put a, well, a couple ball bearings on the end of our exhaust push rod here. There it is. Probably not going to show up, but there are two bearings in there. That screw is what is holding these two bearings in. And talk about uh, an exercise in patience. But you know what? Look, guys, we got it. It's there. It's probably not going to show up too well, but we've got two roller bearings on there. Let's get this installed. Keep moving forward. All right. We got our cam gear back off and uh, we'll go ahead and put our push rod back in here and uh, get all that started. We've got that spring on here that holds it back. So when we go to put our cam on, we're going to have to pull that that direction and get those tightened up. And we're going to put our front back on here. So get those tightened down all right we got our push rod back in there we're gonna leave these two out of the top because well our latch mechanism with this spring right here you remember that spring we're gonna be addressing this quite a bit so there's no sense in us putting this back together right away but that will live well, right up I can turn this thing thing around that's gonna live right up in here so we've got to get you know the rest of our stuff put together first get our cam back in once again that fell out of there that's all right okay well our cam's back in i'm sure we're not in time but before we had you know, almost, I'm not going to say it was binding, but there was visible and you could feel the tension when it was rolling up on that cam and that is all gone now. So guys that, I don't know how much it's going to help, but I feel a whole lot better with having a bearing riding on that little cam versus, you know, steel on brass because who's going to win in that battle? It's that steel's going to beat that brass all the tar. So, all right. Well, let's see about getting this in time. So this is our intake stroke. But our exhaust valve's opening. So we know that's not right. We'll loosen up our timing gear here. We'll put it on top dead center. And we're going to hold our crank. But we're going to turn this so there's our exhaust stroke it's open okay so we're at top dead and since our cam turns this direction since our crank spins that way what we're going to do is we're going to roll that up to where right at top dead we just completed our exhaust cycle and then we will tighten up our set screw just to snug it. We'll see where we're at. Further tweaking may be needed, but we'll see. So this is our compression. It fires. Coming up on bottom dead. Our exhaust is opening. Exhaust is open. Exhaust stroke just got completed. And there we are. 
So our cam should be really, really close to being in time. Get the rest of this assembled. Maybe give it a run tonight. All right, guys, we've got our lockout linkage put back together. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that it, it feels like it's in time. We may be off, but if it is, well, it's no big deal. We can get that. Let's get our ignition circuit put back together. And none of this here has moved. I did mark it, and we left it where it was. If we need to adjust that, and once again, we can do that too, right? So, all right, let me get that put on. All right, well, we've got our ignition put back in, and yes, I am an idiot because it bolts in from the backside, not the front, but, well, it's together. So, once again, we're going to check, make sure. Okay. Well, hey, let's get this flywheel put back on, hook up our ignition system, put some fuel in our tank back here on the other side. This one. I guess we'll oil it up and well, we'll see if it'll run. And then we're going to we're going to be digging back into it, guys, because I'm sure that it's going to run a whole lot faster than we want it to. But we got to find out. Let's put it back together. All right, guys. Hey, this looks a whole lot more like an engine now. We got flywheels on both sides. Well, it appears to be well, close to being in time. Let's get some fuel in. Here. All right. Well, for fuel, we use the same thing we always use. Uh, you know, this uh, forty to one VP fuel. Ethanol free, 94 octane. And get our cap put back on. And then we're going to uh, plug our ignition system back in. Verify that we have spark. And I guess we'll give it a go. So let me get everything over here brought back on this side. We'll hook it up. Go from there. Okay, guys. Well, hey, we've got our ignition system wired in. And, uh, well... You know, we're probably not going to be using that one. It is powered up. And uh, we'll take a test plug here. Lay it up against ground. We had fire once. Let's see where it fires at this time. We've got no fire again. What happened here? We got spark if we trip it manually. So, all right. Well, it does fire, but wow, that's way too late. Let's adjust that timing up a little bit. All right. We've got it adjusted back around and it looks like it's firing right at top dead center. Let's get this test plug out of here. Hook it up. All right, choke it. Don't have fuel yet. We'll roll it over a couple more times. Still no fuel to it yet. Well, maybe a little bit. that back down we're gonna oil it up put a little bit down here in our new bearings 
put a little bit down here on our connecting rod. We still have our assembly grease on there. Put some down here for our cylinder lube. Put a little bit on our cam gear. And a little bit here. A touch up front, up here. Put a little bit on our valves. So, alright guys. Well, I guess we'll all find out together, won't we? sure if that was too much or not enough. I think we don't have enough. Again, still a little bit lean. Running, but we're not walking out on our hit and miss. We'll get there. running it's still not hitting and missing look at how long it coasts now in between now it's way too rich some more tuning to do guys that's for sure but first shot it is running after we put it back together so all right well guys sorry this was another short one but we all got to see it run again so hey we're making progress right all right well i guess uh the next one we're gonna fine-tune tweak and dial this thing in and uh, start working on that governor spring so hey once again thank you guys so very much for watching this uh, i really appreciate you uh spending some time out here in the little shop with me and well hopefully uh you guys continue to find these exciting and enjoyable but hey i guess i'll see you guys in a day or two thanks again for watching you guys really truly are great so we'll see you. Thanks.